Do you know of the Silver Grove, Earth's oldest and most pure forest? It is home to our most sacred shrine. We've learned that the Grenier, those twisted abominations, are planning to build a factory on it. Grenier Scorch units have been deployed, intent on turning our blessed Silver Grove to ash. It seems my faith in you is well founded. You've reached the critical mass of animal nav beacons needed to reveal the processor's location. Analyzing. Hmm. I should have known. He's not hiding it at all. It's in his capital ship. The ship is stationed directly over the ambulance factory. Unbelievable. The most advanced super weapon of our time, and he couldn't resist showing it off like a new toy. When you're ready, we attack. Frogback, you're nothing if not predictable. I bet your advisors bade you to hide Adamos somewhere defensible and undetectable. But you had to show it off, didn't you? As an investor, I must say, I don't approve. Investor? You ingrate. You could have had everything. And now you seek to ruin your mentor's hard work? Your hard work? I didn't design Animo to be a weapon, and I would have never disabled its governor. You will come crashing down around you.
has been locked, analyzed, and refactored from our animal project. You've brought these Tenno to their deaths. A terrible miscalculation. You've heard nothing from me. Oh, I've learned one thing, Beck. Never underestimate the competition. Disabled Ambulus and upload this protocol. Dropship response times are second to none, ensuring prompt delivery in mission critical roles. the chance that ambulance will live to fight another day. Fix the hacked ambulance. Don't let them. It's crucial that Beck takes it back onto his ship as is.
system fraud. Instead, you've made death machines. What have they done for you? <laughs> you made your fortune on the backs of others, fraud. Your hard work is their hard work. You let the burdens rain down while the credits trickle up. All we need is one more ambulance to be returned to the dropship.
You're done, fraud. This ends now. Throw everything at them. They will not take this away from me. They will not win. They've not earned it. I know this for certain, Fraud. You've earned this. I'm sorry, animal. Execute the protocol. What was that? My ship? Ah, eject the bridge module. Eject it now. and joy has been destroyed. I abandoned the project when I fled the corpus. I should have known it was too powerful to leave in their hands. The Amulus proxies still exist, and they are no doubt formidable. But the threat of their superintelligence is now gone. Thank you, Tenno. Seven for seven against. Cast and recast seven times. So, it is decided. The fleet has been retrofitted and redeployed to begin at once. New lanes. Trawling. For old things. By prophet and void, by the blessed handless founder, we hereby invoke the Deadlock Protocol. Be you Sumper, Whale Agent, Crud Diver, or Pit Boss, hear this. Your comrades, your friends, your family. Good people with clear debts are being taken. Vanished. Meth Anyo, in his hubris, is writing checks and cashing them with Solaris lives. There is upset in the halls of Corpus Power. The foundations of their kleptocracy tremble. To Neth, we say this. You are seen. To the Solaris, make yourselves heard. To those who have aided us in the past, join us now. You are needed. Sparky. Yes. Biz and I may be in over our heads on this one. Listen up. This deadlock spat is costing Solaris lives. The Corpus founder, some long-dead cove named Parvis Granum, carries a lot of messianic clout. Well, Neff's claiming the old man's got an heir. If true, that heir can, by rights, claim total control of the board. Board schisms and infighting might be the main reason SU survived this long. If the board unifies under one person, one found by Neth, our people will never see daylight. I need you on this. You in? Enough, all right. Patching through. 
the band. Keep at it. protect my people from this trust fund lunatic. Do your thing. I'll check in with my Whisper network, let you know what they're saying. Talk soon. The Bronx! Got dirt that isn't safe to shovel out in the open. You know where to meet. So, Neff's making a succession play. Sumper thinks he can prove he's a sprog of noble descent. No idea how. Parvus was assassinated before any of us were an itch. Biz? Look familiar, Outworlder. Warframe, yes. But one of a kind. Protea. Legend says she was built specifically for and assigned to one Parvos Granum. <laughs> yes. Part of a deal Granum cut with the Orokin themselves. Granum was no amateur. He had real power. Our ear inside says Neff's techs have found a lead on Protea's whereabouts. Protean traces, they're calling them. Granum, the original taxman. Killed when someone, a board member most likely, sabotaged the void drive of his personal transport. Neff wants gene proof. But there's nothing left to scan. And yet, so they believe, they found Granum's Warframe bodyguard, who was with Granum when that void drive went critical. So, who is to say what's true? Our people are vanishing because of this. That's true. I know it. I don't care if Parvus Granum is dead, alive, or making change tap dancing in a Grenier officer's mess. Sparky... You find what Neff's looking for. You'll find out what happened to our people. Get on it.
Protean detectors should be on board. Not sure what they look like. See what you can find. It's, uh, right. It's a great big hand. Granum Tribute. Story is, Parvos was missing his left hand. See if you can... Another engineering blunder? We need confirmation. Reset and get our next volunteer into position. What was that? I think it was a void temporal shift. I'm not entirely sure. Never seen one before. Small, though. About as big as a person. Patch me into the system. Could do with some noise while I'm eyeballing the bits. Gearing up for something. Why? Why was that? No! This! What is that thing? I'm not. Outworlder, hold position. I'm getting something.
What is this? What are we looking at? The jockey's feed. Sparky, you better get out of there. Well, we make sense of this. We'll be waiting for you, Outworlder. To the Corpus Board and my many, many supporters across the Origin system, everyone is asking, when will I, Nefanyo, end this unprofitable squabbling deadlock? People are saying, Nefanyo's perfect for the big seat. A visionary, an exemplar, a protege of the great founder himself, Parvos Branham. Friends, our time is at hand. How many kids are going to grow up in the vents because of this? How many parents lost because I couldn't do my job? Yudi. There's a vent kid a very long time ago who would have hero worshipped the woman she became. You're enough. Hey, hot shot. <sighs> If Neff intends to visit that pocket for his proof, he won't risk himself. Not at first. Sparky, you can beat him to it. Biz has figured out how to activate Neff's Granum tributes. You won't believe this. These tributes are essentially uh, coin operated. You'll need a Granum crown. You'll have to search the ship. Neff, as the Corpus figurehead, with the United Board behind him, will be held for us and workers everywhere. See if you can get across first. Tax whatever proof he's hoping to collect, muck up his plan, and find our people. Crossover, you'll need to find a Granum crown first. Search the area. If you make it across, keep an eye out for our people. They may have survived. I've told more than enough kids their parents aren't coming home. to tax the tax man. If only Parvos could have lived to see this day. Imagine his face, beaming with pride, as he bestowed upon me his son, that sacred golden hand. My surgeons have assured me the procedure will be quick and painless. A pound of old flesh for a glorious new leg. I'd pay top credits to crap in Neff's coffin. Double if he was still alive. Thank you. 
And my desire to escape is greater than yours. body would still be intact. Something's off. Get to the tribute. Expect some friction. Long since these old eyes beheld another living thing here in the sanctuary. I am Parvos Granum. Thank you for finding me. I am the void. You are alive. My faith never wavered. I live. Treachery seethed within the heart of the faith I had built when the board's assassins overloaded my transport's void drive. Protea, my beautiful Protea, and her gift for manipulating time preserved me. But at the cost of all that she was, now she is nothing more than a specter of her former self, my beautiful Protea. That is why you have been invited here. Father, permit me to show you all I have built in your name. Do Nef on you that honor. My name, hmm, I have watched you. Monuments to narcissism, demanding others sweat in your stead, gorging upon that which you have not earned, watched as you claimed for yourself my teachings of self-reliance, perverting them into a flaccid philosophy of sloth, of Idleness. Is that you, my son? A sister of Parvos is an official position. So you see, I'm officially killing you. Perhaps that will be so comfort. No, that must be a different son. You know nothing. Falling short as you do of every ideal that I value. Your words, your efforts, are the model of inadequacy. I called you, Nathaniel, but I do not need you. I need... Have you met my hound? The gormless mass of metalized flesh that follows me around everywhere. You two have a lot in common. Them. Them? Tenno? Father! You're making a mistake. Come now. Grow 
Tia has scanned her kin, and with that, she is reinvigorated. Now, my lovely, if you wouldn't mind, show our guests the door. We are moving. <laughs> We've got a lock on you, Outwelder. Good luck. What? What the hell? Outwelder, I'm pulling sensory feeds from a trip you haven't taken yet. And hearing myself say things I've never said in a place I've never seen. Parvos? Yudi, you should see this. What if Nerf has similar logs? This has a handle on the time jump, but we've got bigger problems than Nerf now. Get out of there! Not good enough, am I? Inadequate, am I? You've been watching me, have you? Well, watch as I show you how we do things these days. Proof? Repel those specters! We have bigger fish to fry. Vox Solaris, our interests have come to align. Now, this situation is no one's fault, and I'm not one to point fingers, but my fleet and your workers are facing the same danger. Convince your Tenno servant to re-enter Granum's domain and disable that Proteus Spectre. I have just the thing they'll need, but there is some assembly required. You want to rescue those comrades trapped in there, and I want to keep the past where it belongs. Dead and buried. Deal? Ness given us a cipher for an old granum file. Phantasmic scintilla and motive forces. We'll need more specifics to build whatever this tool is. I am calling it the Spectre Particle. 
As my Archimedians explain, mimicry is in its nature. An echo exposed to precept circuits, we are able to imprint behaviors like an infant mirroring her surrogate. Only this infant can set the world on fire. They control us. They hit our research site for the Warframe assault team. Of course they did. I baited them to do it. The whole site lit up. 18 megatherm bloom. The whole lab vaporized. Those Warframes with it. Fire. Fusion. Void. Pavos Granum originated Spectre Particle Theory? Guts. This old coot is a whole other order of intelligence, and that's bad for us. Get back to your ship. I need to figure out this Zorus thing. Thanks for the fast work, Biz. Sparky, listen up. Biz's findings indicate Parvis might be close to translating himself from that reality into our own. We're not exactly sure how, but we're getting some odd readings. You've got to build the Zorus before Parvis gets free. A weapon. Glaive class, but with an energy trap. Spectre particles, maybe. Has a mid-flight detonation trigger. Tricky, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Gear up and let's go. <laughs> To rescue our people. Disengage the destruct. I can't do that. But don't worry, I'm already at a very comfortable safe distance. Yuji, the fleet's going to blow. And well done. Abort. Wait, it's a time prison, right? Sparky, if you can get back inside before the reactor tilts, you'd theoretically have all the time in the world. I don't think they made it. Outwelder? Yudi, they're alive! Listen, Neff's whole fleet is overloading. Huge energy spike. We need to take out Protea. Ready that Zorus. Our 
wind jockeys. They're trapped in some kind of energy enclosure. You'll need to charge the Zorus to break it open. Risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. There's no stopping this without stopping Protea. A bit like eating your own, no? Here they come. Take out the errands, then use the Zorus to trap the Spectre particles that escape. You'll have to time it just right. Full charge. Now, target the enclosure trapping our jockeys. You'll need to trigger your Zorus to discharge near them. Well done, Outwelder. Now bring the rest home. charge. Now, target the enclosure trapping our jockeys. You'll need to trigger your Zorus to discharge near them. Full charge. Now, target the enclosure trapping our jockeys. You'll need to trigger your Zorus to discharge near them. By now, your friends have noticed that the overloading void engines are preventing the exits you opened for my captives from closing. Well done, and goodbye. Enjoy your stay.
Too late! The old man's errant specters have... Huh? The protein trace is... Con? Where is he? Where is my father? That temporal effect again. And yes, there are your sensory feeds, just like last time. So, this Aurus worked. In a battle that never happened. Or did it? I have a headache. Our people are cooling in, Sparky. They're coming home. Tonight, all Fortuna will be singing a verse in your honor. Sirius, we are reunited. Parents to children. Family to family. Take this time to hold one another, for tomorrow our struggle continues. We will persevere. Know that our emancipation is writ in the stars, with Solaris and Tello united. <laughs>